I really didn't want to make a long form video about Skibbity Toilet, but here we are. Skibbity Toilet is very stupid, but it's a series made for kids, so I'm not really here to bash on it. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like this very bad Potter Puppet Pals parody wasn't the first video I watched on YouTube. And I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like that was not the perfect video to get me hooked on the website. <laughs> Plus, I've literally never bashed on a kid's property before, so why would I start now? Anyway, my take on Skibbity Toilet is I don't really care, but I also fucking hate it. So I was reading comments on a video of mine where I talked about video games made by YouTubers, and two people commented about the Skibbity Toilet game. And immediately, my stomach dropped. <laughs> I feared that there were two people out there that thought Skibbity Toilet inspired Gmod or Half-Life, and I just was not ready to deal with that. That's just a bad timeline. It's just bad. But credit to these two commenters, there is an official Skibbity Toilet mobile game that I assume they're talking about. However, Noel over here just does not get it. On the Half-Life 2 Steam page, they posted, What is this old game? It looks like Nintendo Wii, and it's from 2004, which is super old. And why did you use Skibbity Toilet heads for your characters? Why did you rip off Skibbity Toilet? I want to die. So what led to this video being made? Well originally I figured why not play the Skibbity mobile game for a short. I figured I could handle Skibbity Toilet in small doses at the very least. But then I fell into just the weirdest rabbit hole ever and I started downloading way too many Skibbity Toilet games and I could not stop myself. And then I realized something even more important. I need I needed to contextualize the download for all of my Skibbity Toilet games because if I died tomorrow, somebody might look through my phone and just think I really enjoy Skibbity Toilet games when that's just not the case. I needed there to be some kind of tangible evidence that I did not do this for fun. <laughs> anyway, the developer of the sole official Skibbity Toilet game is Influencer Apps LLC. You may recognize them from Cronberry Rush. I know y'all played that one. Or maybe Bread of Truth, Obama Run 2, or Goofy Ah Game. I'm sorry if there's like an Obama Run 2 fandom out there, but, but I'm a hater. Obama Run 1 was just better. So anyway, you can tell the developer clearly specializes in meme games. Perfect fit for Skibbity Toilet. So let's try and tough this experience out together. Let's put on our big boy pants and look at the only official Skibbity Toilet game that I know of. Skibbity War Toilets Attack. All you do is avoid the toilets charging towards you while shooting them. Of course, they sing the song at you constantly. And they hit you if you get too close. They're there's three waves in each level and nothing seems to change with the first two waves, but the third wave introduces a boss and I have never seen a boss attack me in this game. It's just way too easy, I always kill them before they're ever even fully on screen. Are they even programmed to attack? I really just don't know. And after playing this game for five levels with three waves in each level, I can successfully say I noticed zero difference between each of them. Aside from the fact the level five boss did have of multiple heads. Which was way 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 cool, but the boss still never touched me. Also, the cameras suck. There's only one type of enemy. There's only one map and only one gun unless you spend five dollars. So what I'm trying to say is I am five dollars poorer. So in between each level of Skibbity War, I of course got an ad because this is a mobile game we're talking about. Now, three of those ads were for more Skibbity Toilet mobile games. All knockoffs, of course. But anyway, that got me thinking. I know I will keep getting ads ads in each new mobile game I play because duh. So the question became, how many different Skibbity Toilet games would I get if I just kept downloading and playing every Skibbity Toilet game that came my way via ads from other Skibbity Toilet games? Basically, I want to see how high I can get the Skibbity Toilet combo going. How many new Skibbity Toilet games will I get from playing other Skibbity Toilet games? Let's find out. So first I played Skibbity.io. Here you get points from destroying objects, but the main goal is to acquire more Skibbities or toilet men. I don't know the terminology here and you just can't make me learn. So you're really just going around trying to make the toilet man bigger and bigger and wow, this is really my job. What am I doing? Once I got my toilet man as big as possible and completed my evolution, I also got a game over. So I'm being serious when I say, 
I don't know if winning is programmed into this game. But I did get another Skibbity ad for a game called Monster Battle Series. So that's what we're playing next. By the way, I never let these apps track my activity across my phone. So these new games have no idea I've already installed other previous Skibbity Toilet games. So these advertisements are just recommending things out of the goodness of their heart. And we all know mobile games have our best interests at heart. So Monster Battle Series seemingly has nothing to do with toilets and frankly I'm pissed off. It's a sandbox game where you run around and attack people and I really think that's it. The most enjoyment I got was watching this NPC just run into this car over and over. After not even two and a half minutes of running around and just kind of shooting I got a pop-up for this booster. Upon choosing my booster I got another Skibbity Toilet ad. How lucky am I? And this ad is literally just a screen recording of somebody playing Gmod. Absolutely no effort went into this ad. I kind of love it actually. Anyway, time to download Nextbot's Shooter Sandbox. But don't think that's all we're gonna download from this game. Because at the very top of the screen, I also got an ad for Prank Sound Toilet Call. So if you've lost count, we're already at seven Skibbity Toilet games. I've only played three. Feel free to comment how many Skibbity Toilet games you think we're gonna get to. I say we look at Prank Toilet Call next. The first thing I need to do is choose my favorite sounds, but with a delectable selection like this, how could I ever choose? As far as I can tell, all you can do in this game is voice or video call these characters. Video calling just plays a skibbity toilet video and voice calling does nothing. It's literally just silence. It's as if they forgot to drag the files into this game. And why the hell is that a recurring trend here, by the way? It feels like every game we've played so far has just like forgotten to add something to their game that you think should be important. There were also some other random people I could call. So I of course gave Jizzo Black Pink a call and we had them most engaging conversation ever. While playing this game, I somehow managed to only get two different types of ads. One for the Wall Street Journal, which I just saw over and over for some goddamn reason. And the other one was for their subscription service. Excuse me, um, so you want me to pay five dollars a month. No, 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 wait, wait. That's $5 a week for an app that doesn't even have basic features that it promises? Are you kidding me? This is this is actually the like the bottom of the barrel. Every game we've looked at has somehow been almost worse than like every bad mobile game I've looked at combined. I I'm getting like heated right now. <laughs> anyway, now I'm $10 poorer. <laughs> no new Skibbity Toilet ad from that game, but don't worry because we still have three untouched games. Next Bots is a magical game with a magical soundtrack. You're listening to it right now. In fact, this game is so good it just speaks for itself. Let me show you some gameplay. So if you're confused by what you saw, then you're pretty dumb. You're supposed to navigate this incredibly complex and interesting maze and shoot these memes. Yep. So I got this knockoff Spider-Man game for an ad, and at first I was like, whatever. But then, out of nowhere, I heard the music slowly creep in, and oh great, it's another one! This game is actually the exact same game as Monster Battle Series, but it's a completely different app. The only difference that I noticed was you can shoot webs like Spider-Man, so I guess the ad only half clickbaited us because I couldn't find any toilet men here. Nor did I get any new Skibbity Toilet ad. So we only have two more Skibbity Toilet games to keep the streak alive. Monster Park had me raising toilet men so I can show them off in some kind of bizarre zoo. I don't have anything else to say on the game. It really just is what it is. But I did get an ad that wanted me to color in the Skibbity Toilet drawing. We are so back, baby! This is coloring game color ASMR. You tap and hold the screen and the game draws the outlines for you. Also, if you hold down the screen, the marker will just keep going forever and disappear. <laughs> Where's the marker going? And by the way, when you're done with the outlines, you can color in the game by yourself. I guess they just don't trust its player in tracing an outline. Then we got our very own choice 
case of Skibbity Toilet ad. How lucky are we? Now calm down, don't worry, I did download both of them. This is DOP Yes Yes Delete One Part. It's a puzzle game where you erase one object to solve the puzzle if you can even call them puzzles. Anyway, three levels in and we get this ad for Skibbity.io, a game we already played so we won't be downloading anything new this time. Guess the Toilet Monster voice seems to be made by the same developers who made the Skibbity Toilet calling game. The subscription plans are here and everything. However, this app managed to be worse than the calling app. All you do is tap on the sound effects that you want to listen to and listen to them. Now, so far we have played 10 Skibbity Toilet games. Nine that we found from other Skibbity Toilet games. And there's only one unplayed game left. Mechagallion. It's a really boring game where you fight giant enemies, Skibbity Toilet not included. And yeah, this was the ad for the game, by the way. I suppose he could be in there somewhere, but how long do you expect me to play each and every one of these goddamn games for? But I did play this game for a while, and I, in fact, did see one Skibbity Toilet ad for the Friday Night Funkin' Ripoff Beat Battle. Now, ironically, I've already talked about Beat Battle in a previous video. So I won't talk much about it here, but I did re-download the game just to play the Skibbity Toilet level. And fun fact, uh, the Skibbity Toilet level was the first level at the very top of the screen. They just knew that's what I wanted. And yep, this is exactly what I expected from a Friday Night Funkin' parody of Skibbity Toilet. But unfortunately, I saw no new Skibbity Toilet ads here, so that's where the streak ends. So we've played a total of 12 Skibbity Toilet games. 11 of these games were from ads found by playing other Skibbity Toilet games. This this makes me sad, this video is pain, enjoy the Patreon, have a happy Tuesday, and goodbye.